have, have added and changed it so much. And as for our Bible, there's only two in existence that are known of, including known of by me. One is in hiding. It goes between New Zealand, or it might be Tasmania, but I think, yeah, New Zealand and Australia. And it's in hiding. And, uh, oh, God, very tiny. The writing is totally different. Very few can read the writing. I'm one that can. And, uh, it's, it's more like petroglyphs. And, uh, I, I got a stick, a copy. Uh, I don't know, not, not even two inches wide. And maybe, maybe eight inches, but more like six inches long. And it was given to me and told it to our Smithsonian Institute. And it was titled, a shaman, which is a lousy word, shaman is the word for medicine man of Russia, a medicine man's healing formula. Bullcrap, he never wrote that stuff down. What it is, it turned out, I looked at it, I went, what? It was the very first book of the Old Testament and the very last book of the New Testament. All on a lousy stick maybe under two inches wide, six or eight inches long. You talk about trimming down stuff. And But there's only two. One is in existence in the, the equivalent of the Smithsonian Institute in England, in London. I don't I remember the name of the building. The other one is in hiding. You'll never get your hands on these things. Either place. But... With a concordance, diligent searching, and the word of God, as you know today, you'll end up with that. Aho. Aho, aho. Thank you, Red Elk. The next question we have is from Peaceful Gaia. Hi, Red. Hi, Ann. Um, I had a question. Now it seems sort of silly to ask, but I'll ask anyway. Um how is it that the few power elites seem to have free reign to carry on with their agendas seemingly without consequence? I mean, the game is so stacked against us regular humans, it hardly seems like a fair fight, especially considering we're so short-lived, less than 100 years, and uh, many of them are eternal or very long-lived. Well, just to be honest with you, we far, far outnumber them. <laughs> and upright. I'm not talking grab a gun and go shoot politicians. Uh, I'm saying join hands in one with that as a huge group. You take care of them. But uh, basically mankind is, is a lot like cattle. As long as there's food and something to drink and stay relatively comfortable, why rock, rock the boat? Stupidity. Just plain stupidity. But if you're willing to rock the boat a little bit and you find others of like mind, boy, I tell you, you get to be a force that they try to eliminate because you're dangerous to them. And our American Indians, North America and South America, Canada, USA, all South America, are dangerous to the leaders and elite because we know things they don't. And if we would learn to be Matakwe Washington, not Cheyenne against Ojibwe or whatnot, and uh learn to gather hands and pray in unity, Metakwiyashin in a guppy love. And mean it. Boy what a force we can be. But uh, the, because you know, we're getting we're getting our field grass and some water and 
in decent care. Uh, we let it slip by. And it's our own dang fault. But only we can repair it. But will we? That's the big question. Maybe that's why we're having all these disasters. Somebody's trying to get our attention. The four horsemen, all four horsemen, are loose. And they've been loose for, I don't know, at least two and a half or three years, at least. Not at most, but at least. And Dad's just trying to get a notice. Ship up or I'll ship you out. Or shape up or I'll ship you out. We started with little disasters. Didn't work. Got a little bigger. Didn't work. Till today, it's enormous. And it's nothing compared to what it will be. Because we're not paying any dang attention. Well, it's sorry that Aunt Jane's house blew down in Katrina, and they sent her twenty-five dollars to help her. Now let's go to let's go to McDonald's and have a dinner tonight, kids. You know, <laughs> gee, what a bunch of dingbats! We don't care about each other. We care only about our immediate selves, our daughters, our wives, our husbands, our children, our friends. Only about that. But we are one. We are one people. All started with Adam and Eve. We're all related. And I don't know, they must have been ducks or something. Boy, they really popped our kids and here we are today. Uh, anyway, but literally, different colors, different culture ways, different uh, um, languages. Allah, Allah, Allah is God. Well, yes, Allah is God. God is Allah. Why fight over a stupid way my culture word is right and your cultural word is wrong? Kill, kill. What a bunch of, I'm sorry, jackasses. <laughs> Just well, their calling over a stupid name. I agree. Yeah. Well, I hope people can hear this and start to pay attention and start to make changes like yesterday so we can change this. Let's hope this helps. I don't care what you believe. This is what I know. And I, it's not speculation on my part. There are medicine men and women worldwide all the way from Russia steps to uh, the ones that drive the reindeer up around the, wherever it is, Finland. Russian and Finland and, and African and Peruvian jungle types and that are medicine people that retain some of the good knowledge. And guess what, sis? Hardly a one that retains and tells the good knowledge hold any respect from those that they live around. We are fooled. I hate to say that word. But we're nuts. We're fooled. Why believe in him? Here, let's go buy ourselves a new Chevy truck. You know, why? So yeah. Sad. Yeah, very sad. Our, our, our South and North American Indians uh, have lost so much and claim they have it yet. No, they what they got they they got their nose at the the fill pipe of their gas tank and just breathing on fumes. Most of them. Unfortunately. Yeah. Thanks. I wish they wake up, but they they're gonna get real mad over this. <laughs> White nice Indians. Jeez. <laughs> hey, you ought to see what I write in my book. I, I tell you. I get it on everybody. I don't care if they're Indians, whites, or whatnot. Make you think about the fact that we are truly Metsakuyo Arshin, cousins from Adam and Eve. I call you brothers and sisters. We are literally one relation. A little house full of a bunch of strange brats. 
fighting each other. Calm down, folks. Get it right. Thank you, Peace for Gaia. Thank you, Red Elk. Uh, the next question is from M. Sanchez. Hello again, Red Elk. Hi, My uh, question is, what are your thoughts on schizophrenia and their view of the world? Some are demon-possessed. Now, hear me, I said some. Uh, some are, have, uh, a defect in, in, you know, medical sciences find that, uh, maybe they're lacking something. You know, uh, maybe a component in the brain isn't working right or something like that. And, uh, uh, some, not a lot, but amazingly, some are putting it on. To con you so they can do as they please and say, oh, he's schizophrenic or, oh, your child has that, uh, what is that, attention deficit disease. Bull crap. As long as he doesn't have to do his work, uh, you know, he's just conning you to get off his back and let him play games. And, uh, in, in the vast majority of cases. Many of these things, well, certainly the, the demonic ones, uh, can be cured through your, or others, faith in God doing the work. Can actually be cured. And, uh, there's another group of people that run along the same line, and that is your, uh, Alzheimer's. Boy, I tell you, the biggest con to me in the world, I won't go any further, but I've seen three of them. <laughs> Do them pretty bad. Really bad. Pull out of it. Walk out of their bedroom, beside me, just, and totally cured. Praise the Indian medicine man. Oh, bull crap. I just, well, I just counsel. I know they're conning. And it gives them a chance to get out of the con and not uh, not be embarrassed for conning the people around them. That's all I do is con to them. That's all most of my healing and purity is, is counseling, making them see the facts that that old man or woman or schizophrenic or whatnot, you know, they're doing the dang things they do. And in, in uh, Alzheimer's, you know, I I used to take care of Alzheimer's. Had an aunt that had it. And, uh, yeah, they said there was a mouth of gap, and so was mine, by the way, but I haven't got an Alzheimer's. <laughs> but, uh, and the slobber coming from their, their lips. Duh. And it's a con. And I've had three ask for help through through close family, and only three, and all three were healed. And praise the medicine man. No, no, praise the truth that I find in the pure word of God. So, what do you do about it? You can take medicine. I'm dealing with a man in California right now that's schizophrenic. And, uh, uh, he went off his medicine and, and he had no stretch of money to go off of it. They, they, they go wacko and don't feel they're doing anything wrong. And, uh, so medicine does help in, in many cases. I know another who has got, uh, well, he lives right across the street from us. And, uh, he's, he's down with schizophrenic. And that guy's no more schizophrenic than a worm is. But he says, there's good money. I, I don't have to work. And I get, I get government handouts. He means it. Yeah. So, reasons for all things. And ways out, if it's really wanted. And it's all through dad. Thank you for that. I hope it helps you, brother. Yeah, it does. It helps me a lot since I'm schizophrenic and I view it as that I should work it myself. 